You know, it's pretty cool in here. Yeah, it's pretty wild. You know, I heard that the uh, the fiber optic lights, they actually made it so that there's, like, shooting stars now. Oh, no way. Yeah. I haven't seen one. Oh, there's one! Really? Talk about timing, yeah. Oh, I'm going to make a wish. I missed it. You're going to make a wish. Okay. Yeah. Well, yeah. that's, yeah, that's not real, but whatever. Yeah. Well, what are you going to wish for? Oh, I didn't, I didn't think we were going to talk about our wishes. Um, don't, don't take it personally, but I wish that, you know, because I spend a lot of time with you, I wish that because I'm in a Rolls Royce and there's a starry night, I wish I was sitting next to a woman. You know, a lady. Don't go silent on me. Oh my God, it worked. I can't believe it 100% worked. What worked? Thomas? Yeah. Ah! You're watching Throttle House. I'm Thomas. And I'm James. And this is the Rolls Royce Ghost. Ghost, a nameplate that Rolls Royce have used for over a century. A car like this should be a vision beyond the veil, a whisper in the wind. A Thomas, are you just reading off of their website? No. Hmm. Either way, wherever you are in the world, a Rolls Royce means one thing, grandeur and luxury. That's two things. This new ghost is longer and wider than ever before. It's still smaller than the Phantom, but Rolls say that this is now an automobile built equally for passenger and driver. They say that it is a car that appears perfect in its simplicity, and that it is underpinned by remarkable substance that is less, but better. Yeah. We don't know what that means. What we do know is that it's optioned today to $461,000 Canadian. So it better be good. If you're new to Throttle House, we do car reviews, track tests, and quite a lot of messing around. So subscribe and hit the bell. Oh! You know what, it's not slow. No, this might not be the big boy Phantom, but it gets the big boy engine. 6.75 yes. liter twin turbo V12. As oh. satisfying to say. As, as it is to feel. <laughs> as it is to put in motion. <laughs> oh my God. And this is all wheel, this is the first all wheel drive sedan from Rolls Royce. It's interesting, they've always been rear wheel drive. Yeah, right? so I have, I don't remember ever put, having a problem putting the power down. No, the obviously not. The car weighs as much as a moon. So there's always traction. But it is nice to have that, it's that reassuring ultra luxury, Bentleys do this too, that ultra luxury low down immediacy where there's no lag, there's no, no. anything. And, and that's, right? that's what Rolls Royce said. They said that their clients want low down torque, immediate torque. So yeah. the tick over in this car is a thousand RPM, although I can't show you that because I don't have a rev gauge. No, classically we it's have not, a- It's not important. Power reserve gauge, yeah. <laughs> that's all you need. But peak torque. Yeah which is that 627 pound foot number, comes yeah. in at 1600 RPM. It's so just a... 600, and there it oh, is. A little, little downshift and off you go. And that's with the eight speed ZF. It's, it's, it's nice because it just has, it has all the necessary immediacy that you would ever need. Nothing more, nothing less. Easy, it's... and if you, want, if you want to drive it smoothly, you can. It's so smooth. Ooh. So not only is it smooth in delivery, it's got that, that 12 cylinder sound. And I, I wasn't sure how insulated it would be because Rolls-Royce said that, that it, they got it to the point where it was so insulated, it was disorientating. So they had to factor more sound in. Oh, really? Yeah, and the sound. I'm just taking advantage of this. What are you doing? Well, I mean, I got a table back here, right? I just You're not to... eating a sandwich in this car. Well, I don't care if there's tables. We're trying to keep it clean. Look at this, it's cream leather. Well, speaking of clean, oh, I got some crumbs. Um, 
I found the design in here to actually be very, like, it, I, I'm relaxed eating my sandwich. It's very decluttered. Well, actually, that is something that they've done on purpose. You see, Rolls-Royce prioritized simplicity of materials and authentic clean design. For example, using hand-welded aluminium, four craftsmen fashioned the outer body so that it would appear seamless. They removed all unnecessary shut lines. This utterly unique concept of pure uncluttered aesthetic rather than overt statement already had established roots in fashion and jewelry and even boat design. Sounds like minimalism. But it just needed one word, one clear way of explaining it. Minimalism. Think about it. No distractions, no complicated patterns. That's minimalism. And amidst the literary vacuum, the name came to them in a whisper. Minimalism. Post opulence. Let me drive. Ah, see, that's a Rolls Royce engine. I just, I love that. Just simple creaminess that there's you, you there's could cream only everywhere. Get. There's, there's cream, cream everywhere. everywhere. Before we got in here, that was enough. There's, it, it's cream. <laughs> it's cream interior. Oh dear. Oh dear. It's not that exciting. Maybe <laughs> it is. Maybe it is. And it has rear wheel steering, right? Yeah, look at that turning look circle. At that U turn. And the other thing that rolls do is this steering, which it like it, the steering might as well not exist. Like it's the lightest steering that you can possibly buy. But you on you a like car. that? You like the thin steering, big wheel? Luxury I love thing. I love it because it, it, in, in every other car in the world, I complain about the steering being too light and and numb. I think it's just the chauffeur in you. In a I think you, you have Shut you up. have servileness in your uh, blood. Do I? Yeah, it's an inferiority complex. It's, it's fine. <laughs> okay. Anyway, speaking I, I, of <laughs> complexes, yeah, I have a superiority complex back here. Yes. Because wow, it is wonderful. Oh, like it, 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 the, the amazing part about this car is that from wherever you're sitting, it is an experience that you cannot replicate in any car other than a Rolls Royce. Nothing. We've been in Bentleys, and they're great. Been in my box. Been in my box. They're all excellent. Nothing, nothing rides like a Rolls Royce. Rolls knows this. In fact, they say that this car invokes a sense of flight on land. If there's one thing that they're good at, it's marketing jargon. But they're also really good at building an impressively sophisticated motor car. Because this has air suspension, as you've seen. And that air suspension works in conjunction with a camera up front, which is called the flag bearer. And what that does is it reads the road and reacts in a microsecond to adjust the ride. Oh, and by the way, that name flag bearer is actually a, a throwback to when there were actual flag bearers walking in front of motor cars in the city way back in the day. It uses GPS as well to make sure that you're in the right gear for the upcoming corner. But you see, all of this wasn't enough for Rolls-Royce. So what they did was they added a damper for the dampers. The, damp the dampers have dampers. Yes, that's right. There is an extra damper on the upper wishbone that dampens the, well, it dampens the dampers, as I said. It's very silly, but it works very, very well because, I mean, we've been in the Phantom and in terms of just ride quality, this is as good as that. Yes. Which yeah. is the best in the world. Therefore. It's all it's this part of their magic carpet ride thing. They call it if you magic remember correctly, yeah, if you <laughs> yeah. remember correctly from our Phantom review, yes. you agreed to be Jasmine and me Aladdin. I'm not sure that's that was, I don't remember it like that. I'm yeah. pretty sure I was Aladdin. I, I'm, I, I'm it's something leaning. to do with the way teal works off your skin, you're just like Oh that's it. But yeah, magic carpet ride. <laughs> yeah, no, it is it's a whole new world. Ah oh, see I made that joke last time. I did I can't do it again it's now. It's a similar world now. It's a similar it's world. The same Architecture World. of luxury. Yeah. <laughs> this is not shared with a 7 Series platform. This platform is Rolls Royce. Right. They're very proud of the fact, and they're adamant about the fact that this is pure Rolls Royce. Yes. Cullinan. Except for the button in the trunk to close that. Phantom. The, in, you know what? Trunk the buttons. The infotainment in this little wheel for sure. Who's going to redesign a trunk button? <laughs> Rolls Royce. Rolls Royce. Yeah, Rolls Royce probably would. <laughs> yeah. So I think we can agree that they've done everything that they could to make this car smooth. From the engine, to the sound, to the ride, to the steering, to the transmission, everything yep. is perfect. But how does it look? All right, let's talk about the styling. Did you get... I'm not letting you out. No, that's absurd. I know you're, no, that's, no. I, I can't get out. What the? Okay. Not doing this. Just incompetent. I'm not kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> what do you mean? That's two years. 
Oh, Two years I've been waiting to revenge. You son of a... Yes, I let oh, you no. out of a Rolls Royce. It's fancy. He made me do that in the Phantoms two years yeah. ago. Yeah, okay. Oh. Really living up to that silver spoon in your pocket. Now, oh, this? <laughs> let's talk about... This has been there my whole life. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's talk about the styling because... Rolls Royces are good at it. Yes, they really are. Well, people, you know, people are upset that they don't change much, but that is literally the point. That's a whole. That's the whole idea. And today we have it in tempest grey. Tempest grey. Tempest grey. Mm. And every other thing is tailored purple. All the compliments I'm are gonna tailored do the thing. purple. I'm don't gonna do, do the. Thing. Don't do it. It, doesn't, do it. it deserves better than that. Oh, okay. Speaking of the spirit of ecstasy, the spirit of ecstasy yeah. and the umbrellas. Locked the car. You locked it. Yeah, that's good. That's <laughs> yeah. <weird. laughs> Amazing technology in these things. Yep. And the Spirit of X and, and the Umbrellas are the only two things carried over from the last gen Ghost. Everything else is new. Everything else is new. Okay. It's all on the architecture of luxury now. Things I'd like to point out, first of all, yes. this hand painted line. That's a thing. Yeah, you know, it's really cheap as well, actually. Oh, do you want to do an options list game? Yeah. Okay, okay let's so, go. Let's go. I'm so excited. It's okay, so thing. that stripe that you so adoringly this, pointed out. This line right here. Yeah. The long coach line yes. in tailored purple. In tailored purple. Okay. Is $1,924. Wow. The okay. tailored purple pinstripe. Okay, let me guess. Let me guess. Let me guess. So if that's nice, that's going to be. Think about, like, think about how this is made. This is one guy. One guy does a, a hand with like a stick and a thing. Yeah. And then, and so, then this is a special extra. Just yes. this purple ring. Yes. But there are four of them. Four of them. Okay, yeah, so I'm going to say 50 bucks each at least. Right? Yeah, so, at least 50 bucks each. Yeah, so, you know, a couple hundred bucks, three, 400 bucks. Yeah, 2,600 bucks 20, $2, for that. $2,600 for uh, And then it keeps yeah. going. So okay. the, this is, that's an uplit spirit of ecstasy. An uplit one. Yeah. So there's a light underneath. That's a big yeah, deal. Yeah, so that's five Gs. Five grand? Mm. Yep. Okay. And then the chrome plated visible exhausts on the back. Okay, let me guess, let me guess, let me guess. Which, by the way, all they do is point out themselves. They're just like fake exhaust tips. Oh yeah, that's that's just fake. Yeah. There's literally a tip in there. So the, the, the price for fake exhaust Well, hold on, tips. let me guess. $2,000. Five and a half grand. Five and a half thousand dollars. Yes. Okay. Um, wow. So, I will say that uh, it's very pretty. It's very pretty. Yeah. It's not as commanding as a Phantom. No, the or, Phantom... Or a Cullinan. The Phantom has a presence to it. This is more kind of rounded and sculpted and it's a little bit different. I, I do very much like it though. Well, as, I, as I mentioned, part of it is the post-opulence thing, the simplicity of You design. mean minimalism. So, so what they've done is they've tried to make the front as simple as possible and as clean as possible. Okay. And here, move out of the way. Okay. This grill, yeah. it has a glow to it. And a, 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 they've, they've worked, they've, they've sanded it on the back or whatever and made it so it's more of a glow than a chintzy light. I don't know if you can ever get away from chintzy when you have a glowing. When you have a glowing grill. Yeah, yeah it's just going to be chintzy. It looks, I mean, again, it is presence. It looks cool, but okay. it's not my thing. All right, should we look at the uh, the interior? Because it just gets more ridiculous as you go inside. I know. There's more tailored purple and there's more very expensive options. Okay, let's look. All right. And maybe it doesn't put, want you to I'm put just it. Gonna, I'm just going to pull it closed. Yeah, this car punishes you if you want to do stuff quickly. Yeah, it's like. Well, so you can hear you the rushing? electronics fighting you. It yeah. wants you to push the buttons. It wants you to. You yeah. have to use this, and in, in, in the back, you gotta. Yeah, it's okay. It's nice to have the doors closed. I will say, it's nice to have them closed automatically. Yeah. But. Okay. Now, materials and design. Well, there's nothing like a Rolls Royce, is there? No, it is worth, it. it's worth saying though that the new Bentleys, like the Continental GT, are in, fantastic. Yeah, it's not that far off. No, but this is still a step above in the like the quality of the hides. The way that everything is stitched together. There is, there's less like, theatre here though. So the Bentley had the Well, minimalism, sorry. Post opulence. <laughs> Post opulence, yeah, right. Like there isn't the flippy stuff. And yes. Like with my box, there's the night, the, the magic sky. I guess we have stars in the sky. Shooting yes. stars, actually. Yes. Um, <laughs> but yeah, so they, they've gone for a, a hidden technology route. So it still has everything, it just isn't in your face. Well, they didn't hide very well from me that this is just BMW's iDrive. Yeah, well, Rolls Royce want this to be a detoxifying space, right? They said they said that the, the clients they don't yes. call them buyers. The right. clients don't want to be reminded of their constant success. They want to have it as a place to think, mm -hmm. right? Because I'm also exhausted. I'm just, my, my success is <laughs> just, just it was. It's, yeah. it's in my face. You know what I mean? Like oh. So that's what, what that's what this space exists gonna, to do. Yeah. This has been optioned with the lamb wall mats, by the way. Unfortunately, we have the all-weather mats today. So, yes. well, fortunately for the lambs, because now yes. they, they get to live. James, the lambs don't die. They, the... they, eventually they do. 
Yes, eventually all lamb. Yes. You, know, you know what does die is the 30 cows, unfortunately, that have been used to make the inside of this car. Unknown. Unconfirmed. Uh, yes. Well, I will say Donated. that... Donated. What they have done, hopefully they, every part yeah. has been used. The, this is beautiful. Every single thing is either leather or chrome, and that's my favorite part about Rolls-Royce. And it's all in the tailored purple, down yes. to the key. Oh, God. Even the yes. key has the tailored purple. In the door bins is tailored purple. Yeah, the in stitching. here. Yeah. This one line of stitching all across here, yeah. which, by the way, so that's like the one paint line on the outside. Yes. I'm wondering if it's like a Dude Perfect video, where we only see the final <laughs> version. Like, yeah. For all we know, we spent 17 days Yes, rubbing this, it this out. lady or gentleman, obviously, maybe this is their fifth take. As right? a result, yes. it is perfect. It is beautiful, uh, yeah. There are some expensive options going on here. So as you'll notice, unlike the Phantom we were in, this isn't lacquered wood. No, this is the open pour. I told you, we're in an open pour age. I've been saying you, it forever. You started. Even it. Rolls is, is joining in now. So this is called... It's really nice. It's got a fancy name. Oh, you got... Is there an option? Is it a price? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. Oh, yeah. Okay, so it's three and a half grand. It's three and a half grand. And it's called Open Pour Obsidi Obsidian Aeus. Open Pour Obsidian, Obsidian Aeus. That sounds like a fancy rice dish at a hipster restaurant. <laughs> it does, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, so it's got that. It's got... Um, oh, the that. clock. How much is the clock? Don't tell me. Let me guess. Okay. I don't, um, I don't see the clock. No, see. it's it's there because we have one. It, it's oh, a, yes, it it's, is. It's a special it is, bespoke yeah. clock. Okay, all right. So It's called the Indulge Bespoke Clock. The Indulge Bespoke Clock. It doesn't now, look that custom. It looks quite minimalist. You, would, you might say. Yes. <laughs> okay, so this is just a clock. There's no branding on it. It says Rolls-Royce Goodwood underneath of it. It... Uh, what well, tells the time. Yes. And it's got to be... It's got to be three grand, knowing Rolls-Royce. Yes. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah 6,400. So that's a six thousand four hundred dollar clock. That's a six hundred. Yeah. Also in that range, you could literally put, you could literally put a Rolex in there for that price. <laughs> yeah, but that's Rolex. This is Rolls Royce. It's better. This front fascia. This okay. looks like a screen. Yeah. This is different panes of glass with separate lights hand placed. That's absurd. So that's five grand. Oh, okay. Um, it looks very nice, though. So, so if you don't option things, what does the car look like? I mean, that's actually not, there isn't even an answer to that because it is a bespoke car. The whole idea is is that their clients yes. work with Rolls-Royce to develop their perfect... Correct. Yes. Yeah, I don't think they'd even let you not option it. <laughs> no. but, but what about shooting stars? Do you not want to make a wish? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, should, we, uh, uh, should we check out the back seat? Yes. Yeah. It's, worth, it's worth looking at. Absolutely. Go. I, w I crushed you, man. I cr you don't have a chance. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So, first of all, I didn't point this out in the front. It's also in the front. But this embossed spirit of ecstasy in the leather is stupendous. Yes, well, actually, Rolls Royce is quite nice about it. Because it's your way of showing how much you love the brand, it's a free option. Is it? No. Oh. <laughs> no. It's expensive. Okay, how much is it? Um, so, let you, me guess. Let me guess. Uh, it's going to be four grand for all the embossed. It, uh, not quite. In, this is fifteen hundred and eighty-four. Okay. And then on the oh, sorry, the picnic table is fifteen hundred and eighty-four. Oh. And on the doors, it's two thousand two hundred forty-one. So it comes to just under four grand. Well, it wasn't close. Yeah, yeah. All right. Speaking of which, there literally is a picnic table. When I say literally, I mean they call it. Rolls Royce calls this a picnic table. They is do. This, yeah. Is this how I do it? Is this the button? That's the button. Here it goes, and it's powered. Isn't that just, that's just, that's just great. It, listen, being harsh on a Rolls Royce seems pointless, really, in ways. But I, I have to say that there's certain aspects of this that don't feel insanely brand new. Like, no. this is supposed to be entirely new. Yeah, right? yeah, it's not completely modern. Like, this infotainment screen could be, there are better screens now. Yep. Right? Like, there are, it's yeah, not... The black levels aren't perfect. No, it's not. Like, it's you can see the pixels. Right? I mean, and down it's, here, yeah. these buttons don't look amazing? Well, I think that's, they've committed to, to keeping it on brand. But I, okay. don't, I don't think it's, the, it's taking the best and making it better. It's just no, doing like, it like Like, Audi's screens are better in the new, uh, you know, 8, S8. A, 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 A8, A8. Right? Yeah. So, I mean, if, it, if you're paying for the ultimate motor car, which is what these are, yes. I kind of want... You know what I mean? But I mean, it, regard the post opulence for a minute, because the, <laughs> okay. the, like, these speakers aren't as uh, egregious as my box, where they have all the crazy stuff going right, on. Yeah. This is an eleven thousand dollar sound system. Eleven thousand dollars. Why are you even surprised? There should be no more surprise. Because everything was like a six or a four. <laughs> it's an eleven. Yes. They literally took the price to eleven for the sound system. Um, 
this isn't at the level of the Phantom, but that's by design, obviously. Well, it's, it's just more than half the price, so it's, it is priced like that. Well, I'd say it's three quarters of the interior, at least, right? Yeah. Because, like, the materials are still, like, all the way down to the chromed seat rails, which I love. Even the vents for the air are chromed, right? And you can get the giant lamb's wool mats, right? Yeah. Well, the, uh, even this, the velvet around the windsill here. It's very nice. Everything, everything is exactly what you'd expect in a Rolls Royce, and it is supremely comfortable back here. Uh, there's not much more to say other than this is, I mean, other than the Phantom, pretty much the ultimate motor car. Absolutely. And we may make fun of the overly wordy marketing, but post opulence aside, there really isn't anything like a Rolls Royce. It may not be a car that you or I will ever own, but its significance in the world of luxury motoring is undeniable. Because while there may be constant debate over what the best sports car to go for a rip in is, when it comes to going for a waft, there is no argument. The Rolls reigns supreme. Thanks for watching.